you have no idea what it was like. Oh. Everyone's safe? <laughs> the, the army's, army's no, no match, match for Nora. Nora. I meant the kids. <laughs> well, uh, all accounted for. Okay. Let's keep it that way, all right? I'll swing by the vestige. Keep the kids out of trouble. You got it. Say hi to the missus for me. <laughs> you go skirt chasing, I take care of the kids. Some husband. <laughs> Dinner's on me. Better be home cooking. When's the wedding, <laughs> lover boy? <laughs> well, don't worry, none of you are invited. We're still going. Hey, you you serious? What about me? Catch you later. How did you get in here? You gotta leave. Okay, listen. Find some place to hide and keep quiet. Once I find Sarah, we'll all leave together. Uh, You'll be home in time for dinner. <laughs> you... Wait! Who's Sarah? My wife. Future wife, that is. She's a pulse, let's see. No. She's here somewhere, along with that foul sea. I gotta find her and set her free. What's wrong with you? Why do you want to help a sea? They're the enemy. Huh. How can you save a sea? You're not. You're not. That's insane! <laughs> Probably. But I gotta do something, right? I'll be back. Uh. <gasps> Time to go. We have to leave before the army. What? That's a Pulse brand. That girl's a Lassie. I already told you that. Pulse Lassie are the enemies of Cocoon. So they should die? Listen, if she fails her focus, you know how that'll end. And killing her is a mercy? You came. Sarah! Sarah. Is that my hero? Let's get you out of here. Hands off. I'm taking her home. Sis. I'm, I'm not your sister. You couldn't protect her. It's your fault she can save us. Sarah? Save us. Or protect us all. Save Cocoon. Save Cocoon? Sarah, that was your focus? Anything. I'll do anything. Leave it to me. You'll see. I'll protect Cocoon. I'll save everyone. Somehow. I'll make things right. You just relax. Sweet dreams. She's not sleeping! 
Sarah's... she's... She's alive. No. The legend. Remember the legend. The sea who fulfilled their focus turned to crystal and gained eternal life. It's the same with Sarah. Eternal life. She's not dead! Sarah's my bride-to-be. I promise to be hers forever. I don't care how many years I have to wait. It's over. Open your eyes and face reality. Sarah, does becoming a lassie really mean losing everything? Target is almost in place. Surface team, what is your status? Good to go. Resistance is under control. The assault proceeds as planned. Leave no trace. The pulse vestige never existed. Right back. Hold on. Trench coat. Where you going? Day with the foul sea. Got some things to talk about. What? You're gonna ask it to help her? <laughs> are you out of your mind, kid? That thing wants to chew us up and spit us out. Well, what do you want me to do? Uh, what? Lightning? When I couldn't see a future, and I was afraid. When the future was clear, and it hurt to see. I'd just close my eyes, and lose myself in happier days. about that. Now, who'd you say you were looking for? Here goes.
Make it a wish. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I was. I was hoping that tomorrow I can tell my sister. Mm. She'll be so mad, knowing I hid it from her. Yeah, don't worry. I'll take the blame for you. You know, you should ask for something bigger. These are wish-granting fireworks, like in the stories. Stories, huh? The sea who fulfill their focus. They become crystal and gain eternal life. <sighs> Would help if they gave you some clue about what you're supposed to do. <sighs> we'll figure this thing out. You will never be one of those monsters. <sighs> so what will I be? A crystal? Yesterday at the store, I got us something. I don't know much about jewelry, but I hope you like it. I will stand by you, no matter what happens. I'm yours forever. Sarah. My one, my only. Will you marry me? Yes. <laughs> she said yes! <laughs> <laughs> I love these fireworks. They granted my wish. Your wish? Before I asked you to marry me, I wished that you would say yes. Then maybe they'll grant mine too. What's that? To have the courage to tell Lightning that I've become a lassie. Hey, our engagement is way bigger news. <laughs> Man, I can't wait to see her face. <laughs> She'll be my new sister. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Snow. Sarah. 
Sarah! Sarah. I'll get you out of there. <laughs> Psychom will be here soon. If they find us, we're all dead. You think Sarah'd want that? You think you know how she feels? If I leave her, then I'll never know. We'll be fine. I can handle anything they throw at us. No one will die. I'll protect Sarah. And Cocoon. Does she look protected to you? I can save her! What can you possibly do? Whatever it takes! <sighs> oh, me. You two are hopeless. <sighs> you just can't admit it. I want to stay as much as he does. You're leaving? We want to help Sarah, too. Uh, but without tools, we could be digging for days. The army's on our trail. So for now, we gotta keep moving. For now. So I just abandoned her and saved myself? What about your focus? What happened to banding together and saving the world? Isn't that what you promised? Now you want to forget it all and die right here? <sighs> Snow, you're nothing but talk. Lightning! I'll do whatever it takes. I'll finish this focus and keep Sarah safe. That's my promise. Great job so far. <sighs> Stay out of trouble. Mm -hmm. You do. Get going. But <laughs> later. Okay. <sighs> Snow. <sighs> Save it for next time, kiddo. No good left behind. <sighs> But... Uh... It's okay, Hope. Light will take care of you. We'll meet again. <laughs> yeah. Count on it.
I'll get you out of there. Twin sisters. I gotta hand it to you for taking them down. But don't gloat just yet. Might come a time you wish you'd let them end it. And made things easy. Hm. More of you, huh? He's a let's see. Take him. Back off. You want to keep breathing? Shut up and come quiet. <sighs> Bring her this way! Careful now! Come on! myself. a breakup bomb like that. Being alone's all right, I guess. Yep. Always was until we met. Then we did. And now I know there's something better. Being with you. We've come too far to quit now. It's not your choice. You really want to leave me? I don't want to. Please, just stay away from me. What happened? At least tell me that. If it was something I did, just say it. by Pulse. I'm a Lassie. No. Enemy of Cocoon. Danger to us all. Get it now? You're my enemy. Goodbye. Sarah, where are you?
Sarah! What is your focus? The sea have a focus, right? I'll go with you, help you do it. Just let me. No, if you're with me, the sanctum will- I will be with you. No matter what, we've come too far to quit now. I don't know. I don't know my focus. I'm gonna be a monster. Not if I'm here. I'll protect you. We'll figure this out and do it together, okay? Okay. If it's true what they say... Yeah? When we're finished, I'll turn to Crystal. Don't worry. When the sea complete their focus, they're blessed with the gift of eternity. They wouldn't call it eternity if you died. <laughs> You'll see. You and me will always be together. You became a lassie, so now you're gonna marry this idiot? And you think I'm gonna buy that? Full points for originality. But don't forget, if you really are a lassie, it's my job to deal with you. Sis. This is ridiculous. Worst birthday ever. <laughs> uh, wait, Sarah! Why won't you believe her? You kidding me? She gets made a lassie and you pop the question? Lightning, stop it! No, you stop it! Get out of my house. You're shutting her out! She's your sister! <sighs> Fine. I'll do it. I'll protect her. How practical. We interrupt this program to bring you an urgent sanctum bulletin. Huh? Late last night, officials confirmed the presence of a Pulse Falci inside the city of Bodom. Acting with Falci Eden's approval, authorities declared a state of emergency. The entire district will be quarantined in response to this crisis. This is a sanctum bulletin. Late last night, Officials confirmed the presence of a Pulse Falci inside the city of Bodom. Acting with Sarah, I should have listened to you. Okay, time to hunt some Lassi. So what, we find him and that's that? Don't get all hot and bothered. doing the right thing. Bring him down! 
went to the Foul Sea hoping to help her. But I was too late. Ow! I knew you were hard-headed, but... That was... Oh. Ow! Snap to it! We're rolling out. Yeah, yeah. Hunting the sea, right? This is our chance. Do not let the sea escape. Move out. I will keep my promise, Lightning. Yeah, I, uh, I gotta apologize. Looks like I was wrong. About Sarah's focus? Not like you to second guess yourself. Well, even heroes make mistakes. What about your plan to protect Cocoon? Either way, your faith in Sarah was strong. That strength got you this far. It was all wrong. Yeah. You tried so hard to convince us that you even fooled yourself. <laughs> You've been a total idiot. But still... It saved me. You trusted Sarah. Let that faith drive you. It even made me want to believe. What you doing? I was, uh, was talking to Sarah. Just telling her that we're all gonna be okay. crying, hadn't you? Back when we first met? This place was beautiful, and my focus was to destroy it. I decided to do nothing, and wait to become a sea. But because I did nothing, others got dragged into this nightmare, and I was the one to blame. How's the scrape? Huh? Fine. Much better, thanks to you. Ugh. Oh, sure you don't mind? I mean, I'm not keeping you from anything, am I? Not at all. Don't worry. I could sit here for hours. Hey, Sarah. Do you think we'll meet again? We might. Sure. <laughs> See, the thing is, I was chasing after someone. And there's something I really need to apologize for. But I just... I just can't ever find the words. Gee, that's gotta be tough, huh? Yes. I even have nightmares about it. Well, if it's too much to deal with, face it later. Really? <laughs> Sometimes things seem easier when you look at them from a distance, you know? But does that really work? Question. I'll let you know. Actually, I've been trying to keep something at a distance myself lately. 
Like what? Don't laugh, okay? It's a dream I had. A bad one. I dreamt I destroyed the world. It was terrifying. I needed some time alone. It had me so scared, I tried to run away. But then, my boyfriend, he came chasing after me. That's when I understood. Running away and leaving behind the people you care about? That isn't love. Though you might just want to keep them safe, shutting them out of your life only hurts them more. The point is, I have people I can count on. I'll make it through. I think you'll be fine. And you will be too. You'll find the words. I'm sure of it. Sorry. What else can I say? I'm not the one you should be asking, Vanille. You'll know what to say when you find your friend. You'll see. You mean you met Sarah? Mm hmm. I tried to hide our focus, and she ended up on the sea. I wanted to say I was sorry, but... Well, when we rescue her, maybe you'll get the chance. Yeah, I hope so. Come on. I think Sarah saw the same vision of Ragnarok that we did. Which means Dysley had to be lying when he explained her focus. I think she beat it. She handed Cocoon over to us, and that's what made her turn to crystal. Yep. I know. How's Sarah? Same as we left her. Feels so far away now. <laughs> Sarah says she wants to talk. She'd probably prefer it if you skipped the lectures. Once we're home, what's your plan? You're getting married, right? What's that? Sarah wants to know. <laughs> Don't scare me like that. You are getting married, aren't you? Don't you let her down, you hear me? <laughs> Don't worry. This tear will be her last. I'll make sure of that. That's all I need to know. You will see her, right? Don't go there. No room for doubt. You're right. We'll see her again. And soon. You convinced me of that. So stay strong. Don't worry. <laughs> we'll finish this and go see her together. Ragnarok, come day of wrath, O pulse the sea. Embrace thy fate, thine home to burn, that fallen souls might bear our plea to hasten the divine's return. O piteous wanderer, Ragnarok, make of this day a brave epoch. Deliver the divine. Ragnarok. What? Sarah. 
How did you... <sighs> I was waiting... for you to open your eyes. <sighs> All the time I was asleep, I knew what was happening. I kept trying to think of a way to save Cocoon. Together. Sarah? You get it now. There are no gods with miracles to save us. No matter where you look. That's why we have to call one. Destroy Orphan. We'll save the world. Stop it! You can't do that. You love me too much. You do, don't you, Claire? Enough already! <laughs> Listen up. We are all shooting for the same goal here. <laughs> and the result of that <gasps> is this. You son of a... <laughs> You betray your foul sea to chase after dreams and shadows. The world you claim to wish to protect now faces the end of days, with no hope of salvation. I didn't think foul sea had the means. Oh, it won't be foul sea who destroy her. For centuries now, Cocoon has provided generously for its human inhabitants every want and need. Coddled them, one might even say. The result being, their deep-seated fear and hatred of change and all things alien. Fed, nurtured, and ready to detonate at the slightest spark. The seeds of destruction take root, even now. What did you do to Cocoon? I resigned, appointing Reigns as Primarch in my stead. Reigns? He's alive? <laughs> the puppet is restrung to serve my needs, yes. Its eyes had long since turned to glass. Of course, the cavalry's eyes will see our friend as nothing more than a traitor to their cause. They'll say the Falci got to him too, or some such drivel. And imagine, when I spread word that it's Orphan tugging at his strings, what happens next? What? Uh, You're gonna use the cavalry to take the thing out? <laughs> perhaps. Or perhaps I'll feign the howling of Pulsian wolves and let the fear-addled sheep slaughter themselves first. Either way, the end is at hand. <laughs> but what of yourselves? Will you enjoy the festivities beside me? Or perhaps... Greet the end here, in the land where it all began. We're here to stop him. We've come to save Cocoon, right? Right.
Benil? Hmm. Wishes can come true. What? But not if you just wait for miracles. Ready. Hmm. Miracles are things we make for ourselves. Here and now.
This is Lightning's knife. I keep it in my room, but how did it get out here? Hey, look there. <laughs> Snow! <Sarah>! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Okay. <laughs> it's her knife. I found it near the base of the pillar. Snow. Sarah, I'm sorry. She must be inside the pillar. Lightning's holding up Cocoon. Along with the Neil of Wait, what are you talking about? She was right here a second ago. I saw her. We talked. She gave us her blessing. Forget that moment. Lightning was happy. Happy that Snow and I were getting married. She laughed and said congrats. But then, all of a sudden, Lightning disappeared. She was gone, like she was never there to begin with. No one else remembered her smiling and laughing. No one but me. With this anyway. That belongs to Mackie, doesn't it? No, it's mine. It's a reminder of a promise a good friend made me. Sarah, I believe you. Your sister's alive. She's out there somewhere. Thank you, Snow. Here, you hang on to this for a while. When I come back, it'll be with lightning. Then there's no way she can say no to us getting married. Okay. Okay. And that was the last time I saw snow. The memories I had of lightning standing on the plain beneath Cocoon. He was the only one who believed. Believed them enough to do something. doing nothing, right? Lightning and snow are long gone, but you still sit here and wait. Why didn't you go after them? I wanted to go. I wish I had. It's not too late. You can leave now, if that's what you really want. I know, but I just can't. I'm sorry. I shouldn't pressure you. In the end, the decision has to be yours. It looks like an oracle drive. Yeah. Stop. <gasps> Sarah! Apologies can wait. We got a wedding to plan, right? It's not 
right? <laughs> like, come on. <laughs> what do you say? Lightning, I swear to you, I will make her happy. <laughs> I believe you. Memories. of the knife. The joy is ephemeral. It leaves fear in its wake. A fear that all too soon the time will come when you must bid farewell again. Yet you cannot help but long for the next encounter. Humanity's great frailty. We prefer past happiness to future uncertainty. This is what the end of the world looks like. Are they going to destroy the planet? I don't know. But if the world does end here, my future should never have happened. Which means there must be a way to stop them. So, what is it? What's wrong? The daughters of the Sundered Cocoon are sacrificed to beasts of all time itself. The pillar crumbles to ash and sand, and down to earth. The cocoon does fall. What? What? Sarah. Sarah! Sarah! Was it a vision? Snow, is that really you? Oh. I, I can't believe it. Sarah, am I dreaming again? You dream or not? Gotta get out of here. Hotheads who can't back down don't last long on this planet. <laughs> Maybe. But sometimes you gotta make a stand. <sighs> You're not listening to me. Humans aren't strong. They die easy. Well, some of us are tougher than others. <laughs> anyway, thanks for the help. You got a name? Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, this is 
Noel. And this is Snow. And we're getting married. It's on hold for now. Uh, yeah. You know, somehow I didn't expect you to be such a hothead. All I hear is what a great guy Snow is. And look where you are, all the way in the future. I'm sorry, who's the hothead? What were you thinking bringing Sarah out here? Listen, Snow. <laughs> Guess what, Lightning? I found Snow again. He hasn't changed a bit. Still as reckless as ever, still doing his own thing. To think I spent all that time worrying about him. Stupid me. Guess I'll never learn. And that's how we got here. Koopa! Now it's your turn. Why did you up and leave Sarah? What are you doing fighting here in the future? <sighs> you really want to know? <laughs> I asked, didn't I? Lightning appeared in my dreams, too. Can you believe it? You saw lightning? She told me I had to protect Cocoon, so I started jumping through time, checking things out. I learned that the giant jelly bean back there knocks Cocoon down. You mean the flan we just fought? Uh-huh. According to the stories I heard back in my own time, Cocoon was brought down by war. Well, there's more than just one cause. Did you see what it was doing, that flan? It's melting the crystal of the pillar, bit by bit. But Vanille and Fang, they're inside it. Yeah, so Cocoon starts to get unstable. People feel the tremors and begin to panic. Next thing you know, everyone's fighting each other. It's consistent with what I know, sort of. I can't believe Lightning appeared in your dreams as well. She told you to protect Cocoon's pillar. So she must want you to save Vanille and Fang. Like I said, sometimes you gotta make a stand. I don't have a choice. My mission is to stop that thing for good. Are Vanille and Fang still safe? If the stories about Cocoon collapsing are true, we'd better hurry. No worries, I got it covered. That's why Lightning asked me. She knew she could rely on me to protect them and the pillar. 100%. I'll help you. So will I. There's no telling how many people will die if Cocoon falls. None of this makes sense. There are thousands of Flan appearing out of nowhere, and they're fusing and creating a beast that shouldn't exist. Could it be a paradox, Koopa? If it is, We'll need to do some traveling to fix it. Which means you've got to find an artifact first. Lightning, did you meet Snow in his dreams? Is there a reason why you can only talk to us when we sleep? Snow hasn't changed one bit, even though it's been years since I last saw him. He's still as hot-headed as the day we said goodbye. It makes me so mad. But it's a relief, too. I've been caught up in the fate of the world for so long. It feels good to worry about the simple stuff. Being the snow helped me forget about what the future might hold. End of the road. We have to turn back. <sighs> Come on. Come on. <laughs> no way we could take that. <laughs> hey! Snow! Oh, over here! Oh, hold the hey, big guy, we need to get through this. You. No answer. Guess I'll take that as a yes. It'll swallow you whole. <laughs> well, let's find Wait, out. Snow. <laughs> ah, bouncy. Is it? I think so. I think he actually likes it. Yeah, he just had an itch that needed scratching. Come aboard. Help me out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mog. He's a weird little critter. Looks like he stepped right out of Nautilus. Isn't it, Bella? <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. He's like a theme park mascot. What's a theme park? Huh? Uh, well, it's a place where people go to just go on rides and have fun. I guess you only have them when times are peaceful and prosperous, not like where you're from. And where do you come from, anyway? 
A place that doesn't have much in the way of fun or civilization. That's where I'm from. <laughs> kind of reminds me of Vanille and Fang. Yeah. Come to think of it, it's a lot like them. Really? How so? They were born on Grand Pulse, just like you. Back then, on Cocoon, that was really unusual. Huh. We have things in common. Well, I'll make sure to introduce them to you. One of these days. <sighs> we have to do this. We can't afford to fail. If we don't find a way to defeat that flan... Hey, don't get too wound up now. People start to make mistakes when they stress out too much. If you know what I mean. Yeah, maybe you're right. <laughs> okay, let's do this! This is Crystal 2. Huh. I've seen crystals like this before. Right, Sarah? You remember, don't you? I remember I cried a crystal tear. Sarah, you know what it's like, don't you? Being turned into crystal. Yes, I know. It was the loneliest, scariest moment of my life. Sarah, I... <sighs> it's all right. You know, I think I dreamed the whole time. But they were good dreams. Dreams about turning back to normal. Being with my friends again. <laughs> I hope that's true. I hope Fang and Vanille are dreaming right now. I hope they're happy in there. In the future, there was a legend about how the daughters of the goddess saved Cocoon. <laughs> they would have been the first to tell you they weren't goddesses. Not the type. Like I needed the cavalry after all. <laughs> Maybe going solo was a bad idea. You <sighs> knew you had no chance of winning. Why did you even try? <sighs> Fang and Vanille, I guess. <clears throat> I knew it was stupid. But the pillar is getting eaten away bit by bit. I can't just stand by and watch. Not when those two are in danger. Couldn't just sit still and wait for help, could you? T Typical. Hey, I do what I do, all right? You're the worst of them all. I hate your kind. You think you're everyone's protector, everyone's hero. But who do you save, really? Do you even realize how useless you are? Do you realize what you do to the people you're supposed to protect? Now you wait just a damn minute. You've been looking after Sarah. And back in your own time, you protected your village and your friends. Am I wrong? Seems to me, you and I are pretty much the same. No. You don't get it. You don't know anything. You're wrong. We're not the same. I couldn't protect anyone. No. You know what? Forget it. Maybe you're right. You've got to survive. Because if you don't, then neither will anyone you love. Listen, I'm sorry I charged in on my own. Snow, I guess what I'm saying is, you keep looking after Sarah for me, okay? Huh? Snow? What's happening? The time is up. Wait, but we resolved the paradox. Maybe that's the reason. Timeline is correcting itself. Things that don't belong in this era are disappearing. 
Snow is a contradiction. He comes from a past that no longer exists. No! Stop it! I won't let you go! Sorry, Sarah. I can't be with you here. No! Please don't leave me! I can't lose you over and It'll over! It'll be okay. Heroes never die. This is what it means to change time. Why did he have the brand? Who made snow on the sea? Why? He might not have been forced. Maybe it was something he asked for. Not in a million years! Who would be insane and stupid enough to do that? What if you needed to protect someone? And you could only do that with the power of the Lassie. Everyone knows what happens to Lassie. Succeed or fail, they're doomed. Snow only cares about the people he's trying to protect. Damn the consequences. Damn himself. If it means helping my friends, I'll gladly become a Lassie. Sound like something he'd say? And you... You hate him for that. <sighs> yes, I hate him. I understand. That's it. I've decided. Snow is always putting himself in danger, trying to save others. So, I'm going to save him. When I became a Lassie, he did everything he could to help me. Now it's my turn. I swear, I won't stop until I find him again. Okay. And I'll make sure you do. He asked me to look after him, remember? Koopa? When two people part and go their separate ways, their memories split as well. Some people wish they could go back and be together like before. Others look forward to the day they can meet again. Sarah, the future is yours. Follow your path. Don't stop now. This is our Ark, our Haven. It will be called Benevelza, and it shall be the new home for the human race. Nice catch. <laughs> Welcome home. <laughs> Thanks. 
got you. You're okay now. You feeling all right? It'll be good to see everyone again. Yeah. Gates are closed. It's the end of our journey. Hey, no. Hmm? Thank you. Sarah. No, not now, please. <laughs> Sarah, snap out of it! No! No! Sarah! No. <laughs> but why? You were safe. Everything was fine. The future changed. It changed. If you change the future, you change the past. The effects ripple outwards, up and down the timeline. The Seerus is forced to see it all. You mean Sarah? She saw this vision? Yes. And it killed her. She knew the risk. If we altered the future, she knew what would happen, that her life could be in danger. But she still chose to save it. I wanted to protect her. <laughs> I thought I had. I thought she was safe. <laughs> The goddess, she is gone, Kubo. The heart of chaos beats in my chest. A manifestation of Etro. Should this heart stop beating, the goddess will die once again. I killed the goddess? When the goddess dies, the chaos of Valhalla is unleashed. Chaos has the power to warp the timeline and destroy the past.
Do you want to turn back? Too late now. What are you doing? the bit where you save my soul? I could help you, if that's what you want. Damn it! What kind of answer is that? <laughs> uh-uh. Now that isn't going to work. That's not right. You're not supposed to throw your life away. <laughs> I swear that kid is a demon. Angels of death and demons? You're attracting the wrong crowd, Snow. No one is gonna stop me. You hear? Not you, definitely not her. If I have to fight the savior, then I will. The centuries have changed us, Snow and me. Once we fought desperately together against our fates. Now he's patron of a never-ending revel presiding over a banquet at the end of the world. And I've become the savior. I'm a servant of God, sent to a world being consumed by chaos. Tell me, Snow. Has ever a day passed when you haven't thought about Sarah? The girl you loved, my younger sister. How long has she been gone now? She brought us together, and made us allies and friends. I can't give her back to you, but I can save your soul, and free you from your long torment. It'll be my first act, as savior. This is an emergency broadcast from the Public Safety Office, Usman Branch of the Order of Salvation. Volatile chaos infusions have been detected inside the Usman Palace. Sarah, I need to know. When I die, will I get to see you again? <sighs> Not that I have any right to. Well, I guess we all come to this world alone, and that's the way we gotta leave it. 
What are you waiting for, Lightning? You don't have much time left before the world ends. This is your last chance for payback to the man who couldn't keep your sister safe. I recognize that pendant. That was the engagement gift that Snow gave to your sister, wasn't it? If he's left something so precious behind, Light, what if he... You think he's lost it? Forgotten Sarah's love? Or did he just want to keep it safe? Um... I don't follow you. Hope, I have an idea. I'm going back to that door. I want to see if this pendant can break the seal. Do you think the pendant could work as some sort of... key? It better. If it doesn't, then... I guess Snow is just beyond saving. Lightning! You're not serious, right? We need to save him! Snow, can you hear me? If you've locked yourself up in there because you thought it was what Sarah would want, think again. Or did you never really know her? The only thing she wanted was you! Don't you abandon her now! Don't deny her that wish! It's the high and mighty savior. You here to bring God's judgment on me? Not like it worked for you before, but you look different this time. Ready to listen to reason? Isn't that my line? Looking at this city, I'd begun to worry that you weren't the snow I once knew. But it looks like nothing will ever change you. Yeah, sorry about last time. I had to test you, though. Had to know you were the real lightning. So I left behind Sarah's pendant and sealed myself up in here. I figured that if you were an imposter, you'd never think to use a trinket to bust through that seal. But you knew exactly what that pendant means, and what to do with it. So you really are... our lightning. I'm glad you're real, sis. Now I can put my last worries to rest. I'm not your sister. But you understand like no one else does. I bet you figured out as soon as you saw that room. It's a prison. A nice grave for a monster like me. How can there be this much chaos? It's pretty hard to swallow, huh? Worst thing is, it just keeps on growing. It's all I can do to keep it contained so it doesn't spread. When I destroy this last infusion, that'll be the end of me. I'll be out of power. It's seeth time. But I'm the patron. It's part of the job, keeping everyone safe. <coughs> Kept it at bay all this time. You'll protect him, won't you? There's no need for me. Snow! Stay back! Let me do this! I'm tired of being useless. For 500 years, I watched the world fall into chaos. I watched it die. I couldn't stop it, don't you get that? Give me this last thing. Let me get it right just this once. Damn it, you're not trying to do the right thing. You're running away. You're looking for a way out, a death that's no different than suicide. How can you face Sarah after that? <sighs> Say what you want, Lightning. Nothing is gonna change the fact that I swore to make Sarah happy, and instead I couldn't even keep her from dying! I know I'll never see her again. Snow, stop this! This is what I deserve! I know it, and you know it! So come on! Do your worst! <sighs> I'm sorry, Lightning. I know it's selfish, but I have to ask you one last favor. Destroy me, my seeth. Destroy you? You've got to be kidding. You... you want me to be your sister, then you say something like that. You're asking too much, Snow!
The chaos, it's disappearing. Snowshare is something, isn't he? He swallowed up all that chaos and kept it at bay. He sacrificed himself to keep the city safe. And his only reward was to turn into a monster. How about you do him a favor? Do what he asked. That thing's not even him anymore. It's kinder to put it out of its misery. Yep, Snow's gone. And you know what? The only hope for his soul lies in death. So that's it. Oh, that is good. I bet he became a thief right now because he wanted you to kill him. You know nothing about Snow. <laughs> Come back! Snow! Who <laughs> knows nothing about Snow now? You said you understood his pain, didn't you? But you know what the past 500 years were like. Every day blaming himself for Sarah, trying to fix the world. He's been fighting to protect people while you snoozed away in a dream world. I bet he really was relieved that you decided to wake up and get back to the world of the living. I bet he thought he could finally put an end to his misery. He drew on every last bit of strength and threw himself into the darkness. So why don't you just set him free already? Don't you think that's what Sarah would want? I want to... I want to save you, make you free, but uh, I just don't know how. Sarah would know. I know she would. If she was just here now, she'd find a way to reach and bring you back. much we wish she was, and I can't be what she was. Snow, the only thing I can do is do what you asked of me. But please, don't let your feelings for Sarah disappear into the chaos. She never stopped believing in you. No matter how far away your journey took you, or how long you stayed apart, she thought she would be with you again! I know she still believes it now! Her soul is dreaming of being with you again right now, you stupid fool! If you're not here anymore, then what is my sister supposed to come home to? Snow, I'm begging you. You have to live! I need you, Snow, to bring Sarah back. <laughs> For a second there, I thought you cared. so I can bring Sarah back. <laughs> oh, my good looks and charm aren't reason enough. Uh... Yeah, right. With that hair. <laughs> Damn it, Light. You always were a hard case. <sighs> I've spent how many centuries watching the world slip away from me? And even when I give everything I got to protect it, I don't get a single thanks. <laughs> So I finally say enough is enough. Look for a nice place to die, and you'll ruin that too. 
Sorry about that. You were forced to hold down the fort a long time. It was my fault. <laughs> you gonna make it up to me? <sighs> Don't get too cocky. Listen, Snow. The world is ending. And soon, there's no way for any of us to stop it. But don't give up. You've got to believe. Believe that even when this world ends, a new world will be born from the ashes. That's where we'll find hope again. It won't die with the world. I'll make sure of that. Trust me. I just need more time. I need you. I know, I know. To save the day. I'm on it, sis. I'm still the patron of you, Snan, right? You sure are hard with your friends, you know that? What if you killed me? Who'd have trouble facing Sarah then? I knew you'd be fine. You're too stubborn to die. Take care of Sarah. Please, help her find her way back. Stay strong. Someday you'll be all she has. Oh, when you put it like that, guess I got no choice but to do what I can. Lightning says bring me back. But would you even want to come with me? I'm the guy who couldn't keep a single promise. Do you still want me, Sarah? Not like you can answer me. So do I just wait? No, I'm gonna bring you home. Like a real hero. Belongs to humanity now. There's no place for you there. No. 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 I will not accept it. I will not allow it. I feel it. I feel grief and pain. I feel anger. Goddess of death, I cast you out into the chaos. Into the shadows of death. Yes. That's what I plan to do. The goddess of death is gone, and there's no one to control the chaos. Someone has to take Atro's place and protect the cycle of life. That someone is going to be me. But before I do, I'm going to take you into the chaos with me! of a god, but you have the power of a human inside you as well. And now that human is going to destroy you. It's the final act in the death of a god. I bring you salvation! This is the last soul I'll save! Hope! I'll set you free! Light! 
What's going to happen to you? No. You can't turn back or you'll never leave. I have to stay behind. Someone has to control the chaos. I have to keep it safe forever. The new world and you and all of humanity. So go. Really her? <sighs> no. I'm just a fake made by God. I'm missing something important. Just like you are. Yes. It's true. God cut part of me away when I woke as the savior. No. It wasn't God's doing. Do you want to know who it was? You. What? <sighs> It happened a long time ago. You wanted so much to be strong. You wanted to grow up so fast, you got rid of everything that made you weak. So you'd never have to back down. So no one could ever make you cry. You locked your heart away. Do you remember? What you tried to do? You tried to kill me. It's okay. We could hear you, Light. Let's go. We'll be together. Sarah, you came to save me. Even though you were never real. Yes. I was a fake. Sarah's soul wasn't inside me. But I could imagine it. I could imagine what the real Sarah would feel. That's how I did it. I tried to think the same thoughts as she would, and I imagined the love that she must have felt for you. God hadn't given me a heart, but even so, I could dream. It was just a lie, a fake. But the feelings became real. I love you. I always have.
old world is dying, and your myths will die with it! In the new world, we won't need God! <laughs> Are they the souls? Everyone? All of humanity going to be reborn. Hey! Did I miss the reunion? Old man, you're late again! We were looking for something, but we found it. Yeah, we found hope! Hey! You gonna join us? Sarah! Lightning, I'm here. I can fight too. Good. I need your help. Go well. Know this, Benavelza. It wasn't just me that destroyed you. You've been defeated by a power that you never understood. A power that you cannot see. It comes from the bonds of love that unite us. Together. We change the world. We don't need God anymore. The living don't need a God, but the dead do. A God to protect them. A God of salvation. We shall become that God. We will rule over the unseen realm. And from there, we will look over the cycle of death and rebirth. We will live. We will live in the shadows of death. I won't let you! You! You want to die with her? No! I want her to live! She can't die, not after all this! It is your wish. 
You will die in her place. Go ahead. Do your worst. Then swear on your life. Keep her safe. Is it over? Is God really dead? He's fallen into the Unseen Realm. Does that mean he's destroyed? Or merely sleeping? I don't know. Maybe one day he'll return. But even if he does, it doesn't matter. We'll win again. We can go. Oh. I'm going with them, Kubo. The time of crystals and gods is over, vanished into a past that no longer is. Humankind will be born afresh. Ours is a new future, bright with promise. Sometimes shadows will darken our path. We shall tremble in fear before the night, but we won't be alone. We will reach out our hands. And in the warmth of another hand holding our own, we will know hope. We will survive and prosper. The 
The Crystal Age is just a legend, from before the world was born. And it ended before you were born. <laughs>